Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to be making three ATCs, also known as artist trading cards. They are two and a half inches by three and a half inches, and you can make them for funsies, send them in happy mail, trade them. There's Facebook groups just for trading these. So they are a lot of fun. I'm going to be using the cut and collage book you see to my left there, um, mainly because I haven't used it in a while and I love the images in it. And then I had a strip left over from the photocopy of my mini money, mini monopoly money master board, the four M's. Monopoly mini money master board. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> I'm not even going to try because I can't. Anyways, I had this exact amount that I needed for three artist trading cards. So I thought I'd make a little set um, of three. And I think they turned out really cute. They're very minimalistic. And that's because, I mean, these are small works of art, right? Two and a half by three and a half inches. You can't fit a ton on there. I mean, you can, but I like very... Um, 99% of the time, I like very uncluttered collage. That's just kind of the way I go. That's that's my jam. So um, what I did there is I just glued all the um, pieces of cardstock. I'm using 65 pound cardstock, just the regular stuff you find at the craft store as my background. And then I'm flipping through the book and kind of seeing what it has to offer what is striking my fancy and right off the bat I decided that I wanted to go with the animal heads on human bodies and so that's what I went with but this this book has a very eclectic mix of images which is something I love about it and uh yeah so I'm just kind of flipping through reminding myself what's in here um I always forget that there's some 80s images in here so I need to um cut those out so I decided to go with the giraffe and the tiger. Um, and I come back for one more later because I just couldn't decide what I wanted my third one to be. So for most of this video, I was only working on two. And then I finished those and decided I can't just leave one hanging. I'm making a set of three. So I go back and then I found one that I decided I liked. I just put it aside in the moment because I couldn't figure it out. And I was like, you know what? I will deal with that when the time comes. Um, I really wanted to craft today. I I don't know if I could say I was feeling inspired. I just knew that I had that itch that I wanted to craft. But like nothing, nothing was striking my fancy. I picked up several of my glue books. I looked through some images and like nothing was coming to me. And then I decided I had cut out these for ATCs a while back and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do that I'm just gonna make ATCs because they're fun and I love them I love them so much I it's fun for me uh personally to work on smaller pieces of art because I feel accomplished I feel less pressure and um I mean you can just knock out a ton of them you could sit down with a movie and make just tons of artist trading cards and they're so fun Sherman's in here with me. You can probably hear him snoring. He had to get his nails done yesterday, which he hates. Um, and they said he did really well the last two times. The last time they said he did really good. And this time they said he did even better. Um, but yeah, he he had kind of a rough time when he got home calming down. They always have to put him in an oxygen tank. Sherman is my pug. He has very narrow airwave airways. And um, when he gets hot or excited, he has a hard time breathing. So there's that. Um, so also on my desk, I had another photocopy of a doodle that I did. And I had used that previously. And what did I use that for? I used it. Did I make artist trading cards with it? I did something with my doodle. Now I don't remember what it was. Um, anywho, I just had these little scraps of photocopy doodle. <laughs> the word doodle is such a weird word. It's kind of funny. Um, anyway, so I decided to use those and I, you know, I'm using my own art in my art and I love it. 
so fun. Um, this is why I keep my scraps. This is why I keep all the things. And I know you're just like me. Don't lie. We all have all the things. Plus, it was, I don't know, it's photocopied, so I guess I could recycle it. But, I mean, I made it, and I wanted to use it, so. And I thought it looked, it was kind of a fun um, contrast to the money. And every, you know, the money, everything is kind of, like, it's colorful, but kind of dull colorful. Maybe pastel is the right word. Um, so I wanted to kind of stay with that. And then I thought the black and white would really kind of make it pop. Now, on my third one, I don't end up using any of the black and white um, because although she goes with the set, I end, well, spoiler alert, I end up picking a girl animal. Um, I don't know. I just did hers a little bit different because she was a female and the other, two's were, other two were male. And I don't know why I did that. I Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of want to add some black and white to it. But, you know, they go as a set, but they're also a little bit different, if that makes sense. Now my favorite part, adding the animals. I had to clean off my fingers. I don't know if you noticed, everything was sticking to my hand. Nothing, it was kind of one of those days where I knew it was gonna be a little bit rough because I didn't I didn't have anything that I automatically wanted to work on. And that was kind of my clue that I was gonna have a rough go at it. And like my hands were shaky, everything was sticking to me. And like, it was just one of those days. But I powered through it. And I love the end result. I had so much fun. And like I always say, that's all that matters, you guys. Just have fun. Creating is so good for the soul. And you just zone out. And you get to just let your mind relax a little bit. We always have so much on our minds. And it's it's really good to just let your mind have a break. At least for me. Um, and I know that there's a lot of you out there that feel the same. And a lot of you out there that have anxiety or ADHD or whatever, where your mind is always racing. And it's really nice to just kind of give yourself a little break. Of course, I had to break out my Tim Holtz snarky comments because those are my favorite. I might need to buy a new one because um, I'm getting kind of low. I, You know, I end up using the ones that have smaller words or smaller sentences, not the big, long paragraphs. I need to break out some other stuff and use um, the big paragraphs on stuff. All right, so now I'm going to ink around the edges. I love this ink. If you've been around for any amount of time on my channel, you know I almost always go around my edges in this teal color. I don't know why. I love it. I think it works for vintage. I think it works for colorful. It's also my favorite color. That might be why, <laughs> um, but I love to use it. So I go around the edges in that teal color, but then I also come back around with a black color, um, more for like the very edges, and I feel like... Um, it really makes it pop because you can still see the blue, but the t the black just around the very tightness of the edge. The tightness of the edge, Nicole, really, really. Um, I'm trying to sound more bougie, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like right on the edge, so it just really makes it pop and kind of um, holds it down a bit. Holds it down a bit. What am I even trying to say? You guys, ugh. Man, it's one of those days. It's Friday, you guys. I'm so excited. So excited. It's Friday. You guys, me and my kids have been really into... Okay, so we're always into something. There's always something that we're really into on TV that we're watching. And right now, we have been watching... Don't ask me why, but it's super fascinating and we're obsessed. Sumo wrestling. Like, the legit from Japan... We're watching a tournament that's going on right now, and it is so fascinating. I went and read, like, this whole thing about, like, the traditions of it and what everything means, and it's so fascinating. I really like it. So, <laughs> we're going to watch it again tonight. Um, I don't know. I just like watching new things and learning about new things, and it's super fascinating. And, of course, we like to um, giggle when we see their booties, their little booties and their little thongs. It's not really a thong. Calm down. We're just being funny here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's entertaining. That's what we watch at night while we're all just kind of hanging out. So here's my little girl duck. And then I just added a flower. And I just figured, I don't know. It is a, a trio, but, um, you know, she kind of stands out. 
All right, guys, this concludes the video for, di for today. I'm going to show you a photo at the end here so you can see them up close. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Don't forget to drink some water. Stay hydrated. Hit the like button if you feel like helping me out because it helps me out more than you know. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.